is branding. I am going to be bringing in today a client that I had the pleasure of working with just a couple of months ago. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's great to be I'm here. So excited to have you here. Well, today I was giving everyone sort of an overview as to what you and I are going to talk through today. But I had the honor of working with Shannon. Shannon, what was it like two, three months ago? I feel like the summer was kind of a whirlwind. It was. Um, I, it was July, sometime in July. We were yeah, months. so a couple months ago, Shannon and I had the opportunity to work together through what we call the Chief Branding Experience. Now, if you are new to the platform, first thing that I want to do is introduce you to Shannon. Shannon is actually a body partner and seeing lots of success with her body business, with her branding, with her team growth. And so it's just been so fun from my perspective to watch her just really step into her uniqueness and really get excited about what she has to offer. So I thought it would be really cool to pop on live with Shannon and just from her perspective, share a little bit of what it was like to work together through the Chic Branding Experience. So before we dive in, Shannon, why don't you take a minute to talk about some of your biggest struggles or pain points when it came to growing as a network marketer on social media. You want to walk through some of that? Yeah, um, I think one of my biggest problems was engagement. I I worked really hard on post content, and I I just didn't have a lot of engagement. I'd be excited to post it, and oh, this one's gonna for sure. And I just wouldn't get a lot of response. So it was just a struggle to kind of find who um, who was like my ideal customer and who was who was like interested in in being on the team or being a part of it yeah. so I didn't feel like I was always talking to the right people because they just didn't seem to engage very much with what I was doing yeah and I'll agree with that I find that one of the most common struggles I see other people having when it comes to social media when it comes to growing their platform is they kind of want to do it like everybody else. And then they never really find out what makes them really unique in the space. And so there's this, this feeling like this tension between how can I grow on social media, be unique, but still showcase what I have to offer through the direct sales opportunity. So for you, what were some of the things that we worked on through the sheet branding experience? If you want to take a couple minutes to kind of walk through that. Yeah, I mean, everything was just so detailed and you you just took the time to ask every question about, about my whole story. Like you just learned my whole story and I never really looked into my story from when I started to how I got to where I was that, you know, that day. I never even looked that detailed into my story to kind of understand what I am about mm -hmm. and just by asking me those questions, it helped me realize like what you, you helped me realize what sets me apart and how I can still like be myself and, um, you know, just really find my, my ideal customer, um, my ideal team member and, you know, how to like just tweak some things yeah. and really kind of showcase um, more about what, what I'm about yeah. so that, it can help other people with how I got started and how I got to where I am. So, I love it so yeah. much. So let's talk through some of those things. What do you feel is something that makes you unique in the industry? Like what is it that you not now find people tend to not just follow you for, but even in on your page, they come to you for, they engage with you with? Uh, some of the things I, I, I do, like I, I'm, a, I'm a mom of four, so I'm very busy. And um, I think I've attracted like more moms that even have multiple kids just because it's a very busy life, <laughs> especially young kids. So um, I think that the quick meals, like just how you can, you can be organized in a way that um, you can still create a meal for yourself and figure it out just as quick as you can get takeout. So I think that's something that people are attracted to. I think, um, I have a naturally, like, I, I don't want to say, it, you know, for so much time out there, but my husband and I, like, we definitely joke back and forth and I have a sense of humor. Yeah. So I think <laughs> that that shows through with even content that is not, um, that is about, I actually did a reel yesterday that 
talked about joining the team and making extra money. And it was in a funny, humorous way. Yeah. So just how you can be yourself and you be true to yourself, but still post the content that is people want to um, yeah. engage with, you know? So. Yeah. And one of the things I remember doing with you is before I actually met with you is I spent time auditing your account. Mm -hmm. And so I was pulling things out that were like, okay, we don't want to lose this part of her, like her part of her that like people are naturally drawn to that they're already engaging with is this humorous content. But now we want to take this and say, okay, how can we apply that personality to business opportunity or to the, the value add? And so we structured that PDF by adding three very specific types of content. There was brand awareness content, engagement content, and sales content. Mm -hmm. And every time we work with a client, it's through the audit, it's through the intake, and through an, the actual experience where you and I chatted together for an hour, where we're able to really decide, okay, how should Shannon and be approaching her social media? What is going to make Shannon so different from other body partners or even other people who are in the fitness and wellness space? And part of that is just really what you bring uniquely to the table. And for you, a lot of that is humor. We didn't want to lose that side of it just because we wanted to add value. Mm -hmm. We wanted to create like this educate. I don't even know the word. It's like edutainment, edu yeah. education, <laughs> entertainment, and what? Yeah. Like combining the words. And I find that after the PDF came out, you really started to showcase that, but also up level up level the professionalism of this is why people want to sign up with Shannon because they feel mm -hmm. something because they feel connected to her. There's a the sense of like, oh, Shannon gets me. It's not just like Shannon's a body partner. Shannon knows wellness. Shannon had a successful weight loss transformation. Shannon's a mom of four. It's like oh, Shannon is like my type of person. So it's making the audience on the other side really feel something through the content that you create. Um, so Shannon, since working together, tell me a little bit of how your social media platform has changed, how your content has changed, or even how your business has changed. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, even with like call to action, like little details like that, just changing and tweaking things that you guys suggested have just made a big difference in the engagement I get like majority of my posts get a lot of engagement now so that's exciting because mm -hmm. I those are more people that I can reach out to and connect with in a great way and I'm excited about it and my um and every person I'm reaching out to is somebody that seems like my ideal customer or possibly team member yeah uh, so it's not it's somebody who's interested and they I enjoy talking to them they enjoy talking to me um, but my, my following, it's just, it's wild. <laughs> my following has increased in six weeks since when we started to, um, when, where I'm now, my, my following increased in six weeks by like 50,000 followers. That's amazing. So, yeah. That's and, it's, it's, and it's not to, and, it, when, and when I was talking about that, your, your question was, what type of follower? And as I've looked at the followers, it's my ideal. Yeah. Talk, it's my, I'm getting followers that I would want. Yeah. So that's that, exciting. You know, that is so <laughs> exciting. I <laughs> love that. And it, it hasn't stopped. It keeps going. It, yeah. It's actually, it's actually increasing at a faster yeah. rate right now. Yeah. And what's crazy is I noticed that you use very specific verbiage mm -hmm. and you're, you're consistently conveying the same message over and over again. So mm -hmm. to you, as a creator, it can sometimes feel like I sound like a broken record, mm -hmm. but I always tell my clients, if you sound like a broken record, you're actually doing it right. Yeah. Because there's a consistency that people crave from you. And one of the things that I don't know if you even noticed you said this, but it's still worth noting is you go out and engage with the people who are engaging with you. You are still sending invitations. So I never want anyone to think, well, the cheap branding experience is going to bring clients right to me and then the work is right. done. I can put up a post right. and then the work is over. They're just going to magically sign up. Right. I can speak from, from your point of view, probably that isn't. That's where the work starts to feel really good mm -hmm. because you're engaging with people 
who are ready to have that conversation versus it feeling like it's just a cold message right. or feeling like this doesn't seem like the type of person I would I want to work with. Would you also add that to it too? Oh yeah, definitely. It's and it's nice because you know I I don't necessarily have to go out and find new people like they're engaging with my content so then I'm just engaging back and then we start the conversation so the conversation is a lot easier to start with them already engaging in what I'm doing yes so I, there's I know there's some kind of interest or commonality that we share you know even if it's just like a funny reel like with yeah. me and my husband they're relating in some way yeah. so yeah yeah it's somebody that I want to talk to because if they're enjoying what I'm enjoying, yeah. you know, this And I love it too, because another thing about Shannon, if you are new to her platform or you're just learning who Shannon is, Shannon works with people through the body opportunity, but she does it in a fun way, a very community driven way. And she always adds light and humor and realness. Like you're super approachable. So if you have not yet gone to Shannon's page and checked out what she offers, what she is all about, I highly recommend. And even for the entertainment purposes, the community that she's creating over there, it's absolutely dynamic. I love working with you, love seeing you grow. Shannon, is there anything you want to add before we we sign off? Just that it's been a joy. It's it's just been a joy working with you. I can so I, I can tell you just the whole time we work together, you know, you can tell that you thoroughly enjoy what you do and you help people so much. And you put so much time and energy into just really being so detail oriented with everything. And it's just been so helpful. And um, I, I really enjoy it. I so. love it. I love working with coachable clients too, who apply the strategies as well. Well, you guys, if you have not yet had a chance, head over to Shannon's page, check out her community. Check out our platform. It's so much fun over there. She does great work. And if you are interested in the Chic Branding Experience, you can either book a discovery call with me or you can learn more about it. Just comment below. Give me an emoji. I'll send you some details about it as well. Thank you, Shannon, so much for time this morning. We'll check you guys out later. Have a great day. Thanks, Shannon. Bye. Bye. Well, good morning. Hi. Hello, everybody. We are getting started early this morning. We are diving right into talking about all things branding. I am going to be bringing in today a client that I had the pleasure of working with just a couple of months ago. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, Shannon, since you're here, I see it. You are good to go. We are bringing a client of mine through. Go ahead and see if that added her. Hmm, let's see. 